Hey guys, welcome back to 40 Plus Life or welcome if you're new. My name is Veronica and today I decided to go over my financial goals for 2022 to get a head start on it and figure out my what I'm going to do with my debt and to pay it off. So that's that's what this mostly is going to be about, paying off my debt. So if you saw one of my videos before, I paid off my smallest credit card and I'm really really excited about that because you know it takes time <laughs> so I was really happy to get that done so this we're just gonna get into it basically a couple things first here's my little pineapple <laughs> I just put the dice on it so it's ready to go remember when I talked about this so I got these new bands from Amazon they're instead of paying $30 for one solid one or, or one that's just like this I bought this three pack that has this color black also a dark gray and wait is it gray or purple one of those they're all darker colors but they're really really nice and I've been really happy with this band so far so just wanted to give you an update on that and then this little ring here I got um it's really really tiny so I don't like you know, crazy, a lot of jewelry or whatever. I like simple stuff. So I wanted to get this because it is the birthstones of my daughters. So amethyst and sapphire. So I try and wear it when I remember. <laughs> but I, I, thought, I think it's really cute because it's so simple and it's just perfect for me. Okay, that has nothing to do with any of this. So let's get to my financial goals here. Okay. So, as I mentioned, I paid off my Chevron card, which is awesome. So now we're going to see, I still have many, many more to go. So we're now going to go through that really quick. So this is what I use for my debt tracker when I was actually doing this on a regular basis. But again, I like to keep things simple. So I decided to just do this for these kind of purposes instead of doing it every month. So these are what I have left. So this is all, this is consumer debt. Everything that's listed except my mortgage. That's the only thing I'm not gonna include in this. So these are all credit cards except, and then, my, then there's my car loan. So I'm just gonna write out all the amounts and I'm gonna write it in red. So 2054 and I'm just rounding everything up. I don't like to deal with change. <laughs> 2,887, care credit is 3,256, Amazon 3,850, then it jumps up to 5,703, and then it really jumps up to 12,000. 421 PayPal credit is only 296 this was actually almost paid off but I did use this for when I was buying stuff like on Etsy or when I was buying Christmas gifts so this will get paid off quickly because I already have the money to throw it in there M majority of it not all of it because I still had some in there from previous and then my car loan is at 7239 and the grand total total for this is 37,706. Which is good because I was over 40,000 before, so I'm happy to be under that mark. So, you know, it could be worse, but I didn't have this for the longest time either, and then like, you know, things happen and you just you got to do it. Next up, I am going to put what my projected payments will be. Well, I'm gonna put what kind of what they are right now, and then I'm gonna make a note of what I would like to do. So these are just gonna be the minimum payments. So the minimum payments right now are around this, 48. 
67. This one, I guess, 60. And then this is 349. Let me just add that up really quick. So with just minimum payments, I pay $1,152. And again, I round everything up. Hi, Momo. Okay. So this is just a debt tracker that I've used before, and I'm just using it now for this. So this balance and date we're not going to deal with. So actually, I'm just going to do this. Cause I'll probably just redo this tracker for when I do like updates and stuff like that. Ooh, what I do. So I'm gonna put this is minimum payment, okay? And then these are gonna be, I guess, actual. I don't know. Now, Capital One is the next one that I want to pay off first. This one has like a super high, like insanely high interest rate that I wasn't really paying attention. So even though these payments are not so big, it's just ridiculous. So $2,054 divided by 12. So it's approximately $171 a month. Now, so for all of these, I'll do the minimums and then I want to pay more. So if I want to pay this off, Next year, this is the bare minimum. This doesn't include the interest rate though. So I'm gonna round this off to 200 a month, okay? And then hopefully I can, you know, maybe add a little bit more. But this is the bare minimum that I wanna pay in order to pay this off. So pay off, and I wanna pay this off the very latest would be December of 2022. If I can pay it off sooner, then great. That's better. You know, if I get any tax refund, which I have no idea if I will, but if I do, I will put be putting it towards this. So at least a majority of it, depending on how much it is. So that could definitely be lowering this down because if I just keep ticking these off, that would be great. So... The bare minimum here is to pay that. Everything else is going to get what is stated here. Once that's paid off, then I'll go on to the next one. So these we don't need to worry about. Da -da 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 -da. So then let's see. 2887. Let's just say this was paid off. The bare minimum that I would do for this one if this was still the same amount, would be about $240 a month. That's if I paid it off in 12 months. Whew. I'm just looking ahead here. Obviously, once this is paid off, I will take this amount and put it towards this, at least the minimum here. So this payment, I would hope to do like $300 a month, maybe more. You know, it all depends on what my situation is at that time. But... I am just going to go one at a time because it just works better that way. My focus will be on this credit card right here, Capital One, because it's, one, it's the lowest amount owed. Two, it's like, it's also the highest interest rate, which is ridiculous. So that is my goal. Then once that's paid off, I'll move on to the next one. So this isn't really, <laughs> this isn't really much here, but, but that's okay. The main thing is to find out how I'm going to be paying my debt off because that is most important. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to this sheet here. And so my first goal for 2022 is to pay off the Capital One credit card by December of 2022. So my next goal, and then once that's paid off, I'm gonna move on to the next one. So again, if that happens before December, even better. So my next goal, so every month I do get side, side hustle income. I think what I'm gonna do now 
I'm going to be taking the majority of my side hustle income and putting that towards debt instead of anything else. You know, I used to put it towards like more of the fun envelopes and this and that. I think I really need to focus more on my debt at the same time because I'll still be doing my savings challenges and all that. But this is very important and especially at this stage in my life, I, I want to get these out of here. So no, I'm not talking, not for my Etsy income. So let's see. So I want to have, so I'm going to have two side hustle incomes. One is my Etsy shop. Okay. So I've been consistently getting about 100 to 150 per month for my Etsy shop, which is a great little side, side income there. So that, the Etsy shop income is going to go to probably more of the fun stuff. My other side hustle is more my where I work with people to do special projects and that's like any I'm not going to do web design anymore for a while. I'm I'm tired of that right now. Um but any any graphic work I do, any admin work, graphics, admin. That one this side cuz this is one where I get more more of the money. So this one is going to go towards debt. That income goes towards debt, and then this one is gonna go, go towards fun envelopes. So I'm still, still doing way better than, you know, my goal anyway. So like this year, it's all been going to fun. Now I'm gonna concentrate on this side, hustle income going towards debt, this one going towards the fun. So we're gonna see how that goes. And then my other financial goal that's not related to debt is I am going to save $100 per paycheck. This is from my regular income. Save $100 per paycheck to my emergency fund. So I was doing $50 a month and then I upped it up to, seven, not a month, $50 per paycheck. And then I upped that up to I upped it to 75 a month. I keep saying a month, 75 per paycheck <laughs> to my emergency fund. Now I'm gonna do 100 per paycheck to my emergency fund. So this is a 2022 financial goal, goal, but I'm gonna be starting this already for the month of December. So I'm gonna get a head start because I think I'm at that point where I think I can do it. I wasn't sure about the 75, but it's been working out. So these are my financial goals for 2022. I hope that made a lot of sense. This is really for me, myself to keep myself accountable. If you have any comments about it, please do post below. More than happy to hear what you have to say. Um, but I gotta take it you know, slow and easy and I gotta keep it small to make sure that it's something that I can actually do. So one, pay off my Capital One credit card by December, 2022. Two, maintain two side hustle incomes. Etsy shop is going to go towards, you know, cash stuffing. And my other side hustle, which is more my bigger side hustle, which is graphics, admin work, all that kind of stuff, is going to go towards debt. And then my third financial goal is to save $100 per paycheck. That's going to go to my emergency fund because I need to keep building that back up again. So, yeah. So I'm really excited. I think this is a a good first step for me. I think way better than what I was doing in 2021. I did pay off my my uh, smallest credit card, which was a Chevron card, and it just seemed like that took forever because it kept going up and down because I had to use it and this and that. Now I don't plan on using it. The only thing I'm gonna use it for just to make sure that it doesn't get closed is one of my automatic subscriptions, I think Netflix, I just I moved it to that credit card. So it's gonna come out $14 each month. I just pay it off, done. And this way it's still getting that use because that's very important too. You don't wanna just leave it stagnant. So that will be it for this video. If you guys liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up. Yes, when you when you didn't look when you weren't watching, I switched my ring from this finger to this one because depending on temperatures, you know, my hand that when it's colder, my hands start get smaller and so it was getting all loose and everything. So I moved it to this one, but now I'm getting hot again. <laughs> Anyways, 
There we go. Again, if you like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Please comment below and please do subscribe if you're new. And I never say this one, but please share and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I really, really appreciate you guys. You are all awesome. I love all your comments. And if you guys ended up watching all the way through, please do post and pie up, not Anne. Please do post a pineapple emoji in honor of my little pineapple tray here that is just so cute. All right, that'll be it, you guys. Thank you again. Stay happy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.